I'm gonna share with you five things that are gonna help you get better at golf. You don't have to be the world's best golfer. You don't have to be practicing 10 hours a day, rebuilding your golf swing. These tips are designed that you can implement maybe overnight or with just a little bit of practice and you're gonna get your scores going down lower because that's what we all want. Let's take a look at the first one. The first thing I want you to do to help you improve your game is actually look at the setup of your bag. Have you got all the right clubs for your game? I see a lot of people come to me for lessons and they pull out like two irons, drivers with low lofts. They maybe have only one wedge in the bag. I want you to get the gear that is gonna help you get better at the game. If it means that you like the look of a driving iron, but a hybrid's actually gonna be better for you, stick a hybrid in your bag. Have you got more than one wedge? Is your most lofted wedge an old sand wedge? Maybe think about getting a lob wedge and learning to use it. As well, things like your range finders, your GPSs, things on like your Apple Watch. There's so much technology out there nowadays, a lot of it free as well, that if you can start to utilize some of it, it might be an app like the Precision Pro app that you can download and look at how many fairways you hit and greens you hit, whatever it may be, that's gonna help you. So make sure you've got the gear that is right for you. Don't just think that, think, oh, it'll do, it'll do. You can go and get great deals by trading stuff in, like say free golf apps, or even just finding things secondhand clubs like that. Get the gear that is gonna be right for you. So I'm down on the 15th hole of Formby Ladies Golf Club. And the second thing that is gonna help you get better at golf is understanding the conditions. Because what a lot of golfers do is think that every day is the same when we go out. You might play at the same course all the time. So you get on the tee and you use a club that you always do. That's not the way to do it. Here, the wind's going across to the right as where normally it's actually a little bit into and off the left when I would play this. So I'm gonna have to play the hole a little bit differently. I'm gonna to have to judge how much the wind will affect my golf ball. As well, if I were to hit it off the fairway into some of the heather here, I might need to hit a seven iron to get it up to the flag, but actually the lie might only warrant me hitting a lob wedge out of it because of how bad that lie is. It's cold as well today. So the ball's not gonna be flying as far. You might be playing somewhere hot and as you go abroad and play there, the ball will actually travel a little bit further. So understanding the conditions that you're playing in is gonna help you to actually control your golf ball a little bit better. That slice that you might have might get actually a little bit bigger because the wind is a little bit more left to right. If the wind's a little bit more right to left, it might not curve as much. So you might not have to aim as far down the left-hand side of the fairway as the previous hole. So understanding your conditions is gonna help you become a better golfer without actually even changing your golf swing. You've just got to learn and adapt to what's going on out in the golf course. Every day is different, so just take a minute. It might be throwing up a little bit of grass, feeling where the wind is, having a little look of your lie and asking yourself what club will fly out of that. And from there then, you can start to hit better golf shots. There, nice and straight. My fade stayed bullet straight because that right to left wind has kicked it back. Okay, the next tip to make you a better golfer is all about what I've just done there. I was getting a yardage and you've got to know your yardages. I've got 130 yards to the flag. And a lot of times when I play with amateur golfers and I ask them how far do certain clubs go in the bag, there's no definitive answer. There's no, well, my seven iron carries 165 yards and it rolls out to 170 as total. It's um, round about 150 maybe. Um, and what about your eight iron? Uh, yeah, that goes somewhere around there as well. If you go and spend a little bit of time, maybe at the driving range on things like top tracer nowadays, if you go and utilize a professional who's got a launch monitor, maybe just have one lesson with them and do a gapping session. Or even if you wanna go and do it the old school way, if you can go to a practice ground, get a bag of balls, maybe hit 10 golf balls with each and pace it out or use a laser to actually 
find out how far you've carried each golf ball. You can then note down how far each club goes in your bag. Even if you only go and get the odds in your bag, you could probably fill the gaps in as you go through it. If you went and got your five, seven and nine and one of your wedges, you can then work out what your six, four and eight go, let's say but you need to know some yardages because it's crucial. If we watch the pros play, when they're playing with their irons into greens, a lot of the times the shots that they hit generally pull up pin high. They're not miles short like we see from a lot of amateur golfers, they're up and around the flag. So spend a little bit of time getting to know some yardages. It's not gonna be an overnight thing, but having, you know, one rain session a week or going having that one lesson is going to help you then select the club that is appropriate for the job. So the next thing that's going to help you become a better golfer is getting stuck into your short game. You've got to do some practice on this. This isn't one that's going to turn you great overnight just by watching this and thinking, oh, I'll change my wedges. You've got to go out and get around the practice green. When you're out on the golf course, try different short game shots. And as you do it as well, make sure that you practice from different lies. Maybe drop a ball into the rough and try chip out from the rough. So when you do face that on the golf course, you're already prepared for it. Don't just practice off the perfect lie every time. Think, oh, this is easy. Because when you get onto the golf course and you've got something a little bit iffy, you're probably gonna struggle. And start to embrace your short game as well as you go through it. I've got two shots here and I've got a little bit of undulation up onto the green. And what I want to do is maybe find two different ways to play it. Be a little bit of a problem solver when you start to practice your short game. So I can play one with my lob wedge and maybe then put one up there, figure out how do I get the job done in a different way. So if I was using my lob wedge and I start to hit a few different shots. I can hit one and it's not bad, spins up next to the hole and think, right, well, okay, well, that's good. What if I didn't have that option? What if I had to maybe run this up? Maybe if it was, I could only think of getting a five iron out or something like that. Just start to experiment and actually practice and embrace your short game and even just running it up there a little bit too much, so probably my touch and feel needs to be worked on. But as you do this, the more you practice that short game, if you do get into some tricky situations out on the golf course, at least you've got yourself the capability to dig yourself out of that position. You can get the appropriate shot out, you can chip, put, chip and run, whatever it may be, but get out there and start working on that short game. Let's go and take a look at the fifth and final thing that I want you to do. So the final thing that I want you to do to become a better golfer is lower your expectations. Golf is the hardest game that you can play. It will beat you, it will make you feel great, but it is ultimately very tough. You'll hit some great shots, next thing you'll hit a bad shot. Don't get down, be happy that you're out here. I mean, look at this at the minute. Two days ago, this place was nearly shut because of the storm that we had, but now, glorious sunshine. I'm out here making videos. It's great. Go out, enjoy being with your mates playing golf, enjoy the surroundings that you're in. And as well, one thing that I would do, maybe work on your mental game a little bit. If you download a book on Audible or Spotify or wherever you listen to audio books, I would suggest or even reading it, seems old fashioned reading a book, but Bob Rotella's Game is Not a Game of Perfect. A fantastic book that really gets you in a great mindset to go out and understand the challenges you're gonna face and how that thinking correctly can turn you into a better golfer. Guys, five things there that are gonna change your golf game. Go through them, there might be one tip that you think, do you know what, I've never thought about that. I really need to work on that bit or incorporate that into my game. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, there's plenty more videos to come and I'll see you in one very soon.